High of 97. And that's cool because uh, over the next few days, uh, let me read you the temperature for us this week. 104, 108, 109, and it'll just remain there for the next four or five days. Let's go, you Filipino food. Wow, this place is hot. You guys know what you get if I sit in this car too long in Las Vegas? Chinese barbecue. <sighs> Sorry. Because I'm about to eat barbecue. Let's go. So this place is a Hawaiian slash Filipino barbecue. Just as I'm about to eat, place is getting filled up. Let's go eat on the hood. You know, this is good. This will uh, keep my barbecue warm as I'm eating it. <laughs> you know, after it melts through the styrofoam. By the way, they're so nice in there. Like the nicest people. And this looks just so, so delicious. I'm just gonna dump out the adobo here. God. God, this is tender. That's so good. <laughs> I think that's the first bite of adobo I've had since coming back to the US. Melt in your mouth, tender pieces of pork cooked in that great sauce and vinegar. I cannot believe, I cannot believe, I'll say this again, I cannot believe how tender that is. That is just the most incredible katsu. Wow, this is so tender. I don't think I've had anything as close as tender as that in a long, long time. And then this is their famous fried chicken. Wow, this place. Make this place your must visit if you're looking for some great Hawaiian slash Filipino food. You are gonna love it. Just like the katsu, the chicken is so tender on the inside, perfectly crunchy on the outside. Oh, there's a slight sweetness to this as well. And every bite just leaves you so happy. Hmm. Everything's great with the katsu sauce as well. I'm just gonna add some sriracha, a little heat to my chicken. Mm -hmm. Wow. My favorite is still the katsu. I just had chicken katsu yesterday. Where I thought the meat was incredibly tender. Don't even come close to this. This is the real deal. Oh, look at this. Beautiful piece of kalbi. Oh, smoky sweet, bursting with umami. Such a beautiful char on this thing that you can see and taste. My phone overheated. I just been filming for like, like less than 10 minutes. My phone temporarily succumbed to the Nevada heat. Teriyaki chicken. These people in there. They're like the chicken whisperer. Any chicken they touch, they're able to extract the maximum amount of flavor and maximum amount of tenderness. What is this? I think this is a piece of uh, beef. Ah, so good. Barbecue beef, sweet, and just that char. Because they have the sugary element in here, the fire just sears and caramelizes the outside of the meat, giving you that slight bitterness with every single bite of sweet, tender beef. This is really worth it. So much food. You won't need to eat for the rest of the day. 
All right, I'm pretty sure my styrofoam box, my water, and I'm melting. So I'm gonna hurry and finish this up. The more bites I take of this, the happier I am. I call this take a break from eating, eating period. It's funny, when they gave me this cookie, I was asking them if uh, it was warm. I really didn't need it to be warm. I could just throw this in the sun for like a minute. It'll warm it right up. But this is a peanut butter cookie. God, this is like it's stuffed. And apparently this place makes new cookies every week. Oh, just by picking it up, it fell apart. Oh God, it feels like I just took a massive bite of peanut butter. It's so soft. And, and oh my gosh, look at that, Jesus. What? This is almost more peanut butter than cookie. I'm not complaining. Oh, I love peanut butter. I feel like I'm gonna have peanut butter stuck in my teeth for the rest of the day. I was talking before about uh, potentially going to Taiwan, maybe going back to Asia. All those plans are kind of shot right now because I did not end up getting my uh, visa to Taiwan. So not gonna be going there. To be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing for the next month or two. So I think I'm gonna go back to New York for uh, a week, see my parents again and just get some stuff in order. And then I'm just gonna go back to Texas and, and stay there for a little bit. So go to San Antonio, maybe go back to Houston a little bit, Austin, a lot of cities to visit. This will probably be the hottest summer of my life. Next place I'm going to, look at this. Every grain rice and noodle, coffee and tea. I need myself Chinese food at least once every two days. Oh, tea is good. I'm a big fan of tea. So you guys, in my old age now, all I can do is drink sugarless tea. Scallion pancake with hot oil and French onion dip. That's new. Give this a nice little mix. This is really good. Key to a really good scallion pancake is the layers of flakiness. And you see many a layers of flakiness here. And this is really good combination. Chili oil, French onion dip. A little creaminess mixed in with the heat. This is actually really, really good. A lot of places do frozen scallion pancakes. Now this is fresh right here. You can tell by the different layers. Mmm. This thing is just so amazingly flaky. This is one of my favorite things to make in the kitchen. It's so easy too. But they did a really good job here. If you want to make it really flaky and airy, that takes some skills. Anyway, for those who've never had this before, I'm going to link my recipe in the description box below. How many times have I said that I will link something I never do? I don't remember this time. If not, remind me in the comments. Gotta say, this is the most beautiful bowl of dandan noodles I've ever seen. With the noodles nicely folded, scallions on top, minced meat. It's a very soupy rendition of these noodles. You can see little bits of chilies and peppercorn throughout. Even though I had done the noodles for a long, long time now, there's so much anticipation with this bowl. I mean, it's fitting that you find a bowl of noodles like this in Sin City because in a city full of like decadence and indulgence and addictions even, this thing fits right in. The soup, first of all, great body. Just perfect for all the news. And I'm gonna say, this is one of the most dangerous bowls of Dundun noodles I've ever had. Especially if you're in LA or Phoenix or somewhere around Vegas where this place is not conveniently located for you. Because you're gonna to wanna to make that four hour drive here just to eat this. By far one of the best bowls of Dundun noodles I've had anywhere. This is crazy good. There's garlic in here, scallions, tons of meat. The sauce is spicy. It's got the gray aroma from the sesame. I mean, somebody should give these noodles a residency at one of the casinos, because trust me, people will come for this. I mean, this, compared to that magic show I saw by David Copperfield a long time ago, in terms of appearance, price, enjoyability, the fact that I didn't fall asleep, in all those categories, this wins. This is the most recommended dish in this restaurant. This is one of my favorite dishes when I go to Taiwan. It's basically fatty pieces of pork belly melted over a little bowl of rice. 
like this right here. This stuff, when you leave it on the rice, will just start to melt, and the juice will kind of soak in and go deep into every single grain. So you kind of just leave it for a little bit and let it melt. You come back to it and you dig deep, you'll see how much the juice from the fat has penetrated the pile of rice. Let's try this. Come and get this. They're doing things right here. Wow. Oh, that meat is so good. Tender, melt in your mouth, and just extremely shum. I used that word a lot. I mean, take a bite of something, but you're not just tasting out of your tongue, your aroma, all your other senses are getting involved. Yeah, you won't be able to put this down. Shani and Sheridan? Yeah. He does all the cooking, she does all the front of the house. You guys make a good team. Your place is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite wudon places in Vegas. So what I like about this place is, first of all, super affordable. What is the cheapest? I think it's like, it's like $6, $6, dollars 6 for a bowl of wudon. That is really, really good. And plus, they make their wudon fresh here. Before you could kind of go in and just like have stations, you could get the noodles, you, know, you could order just from like right over there. You can grab your size, your appetizers, but obviously you can't do any of that right now. Really, I'm not here for the wudon. I'm here for the all-you-can-drink Calpico. Did you know they have all-you-can-drink Calpico? I don't even drink this when it's not unlimited, but when it's unlimited, I'm gonna drink a lot of this. I don't know, it just triggers something in me. Look at Jesse's wudon. Fresh bowl, $6. You wanna try yours first? Yeah. Go ahead. Mmm. They're nice and bouncy. Mmm. I love a good udon with a simple broth. Yeah. That is good. Mm. Itadakimasu. <laughs> oh, oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I tipped that one over. This is awesome. Mm. Good, huh? This is so good. Mm. Right? Mm. You have fruit regret? Mmm. Oh, this is so good. It's got so much great seafood flavor. And it's creamy. Noodles are beautifully chewy. Sky is really nice too. That was good. That hit the spot. What is this? This is the Hiyashi ramen. Oh. So Japanese uh, traditional tombulo. Okay, so we got some eggs, some imitation crab meat, some shrimp, tomatoes. All right, some mustard. When you kind of dig the noodles up, it's a lot of noodles. I've never seen like mustard in a ramen before. I think these noodles are gonna be really good. I mean, they feel really bouncy. Mmm. Noodle texture is insane. You're gonna like this. Mmm. Yeah? Mmm. These are like super They're chewy, so bouncy. Super al dente noodles. I would bungee jump with these noodles. The shrimp is really good. I love the sauce, the sesame. Really aromatic. Mmm. This is a seafood tomato cream. Whoa. I don't think I've had this. This is the tomato. Um, it's got seafood in here, bits of seafood. Scallops. Mmm. Scallops, shrimp, I think fish in here. And I just want to say, this is like double the size of the, the Mintai Ko Udon. Delicious. Jesse, you're going to like this. Mm -hmm. Right? That's good. Japanese Italian fusion. Right. Cheesy, tomatoey. The sauce, what I like about that is not overly tomatoey. Mm. It's very balanced. Mm. And the seafood is great. Udon noodles are my favorite, and I love Italian food, so it's 
perfect. Mmm, squid in here too. This is delicious. The seafood is super fresh. Mm -hmm. I hate it when it's too tomato-y or not enough tomato. This is great balance. I think I'm ready for a refill on my Calpico. So on top of the stratosphere, this is what I used to come and do every single time I was in Vegas. Because there's these roller coasters on the top. Uh, I think there's one that spins you over the edge, another one that kind of drops you over the edge, another one that kind of shoots up and go down. Jesse's never done it. I've never done it. You want to do it? Yeah, I kind of want to. Okay, let's go. Really? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right. So this is all closed. All right, we'll, we'll come back a different night. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I guess the food adventure and uh, Vegas venture ends about now. Gonna go back, go to bed. If you haven't guessed already, we are at our second attempt of all-you-can-eat sushi buffet because there's so many across Vegas. Like everywhere you go, it's just all-you-can-eat sushi. Our first experience wasn't the best, so we thought we'd try another really popular place, and this is called Wumami. So far, so good. Everyone's really nice. Uh, you get an hour and 30 minutes here to eat as much as you can. So we're gonna get our sushi fill on. So lunch is $21.95, Monday mm -hmm. through Friday, and yeah. all day, weekends and holidays is $26.95. Okay, pretty similar all across Vegas. Again, tons of these places so gonna review a couple for you and hopefully next time you come you want to go to all you can eat sushi buffet you'll know where to go it is confirmed we are getting fresh wasabi none of this neon green stuff the, you know the alien blood this is already better than the last place this stuff is made in area 51 did you know that <laughs> that's why it glows it neon like green it. you're the sushi expert here does this look better or this does this look better way better than what we had yes way i'm gonna start with the cajun tuna I want to start one with the salmon belly. Mm. How's the Cajun tuna? Delicious. Fish just melts in your mouth completely. Salmon belly. Mm. Salmon belly? Good? It's good. Oh, I love this fresh wasabi. Mm. This is so good. It's good. It's good, right? I like the fat. Mm. What is this Christmas tree looking thing? Shrimp, cream cheese, spicy tuna, crunch with 300 and eel sauce. It's still so festive. I think it looks like a Christmas tree too. Mmm. It's good. That's delicious. Is it spicy? No. Well, yeah. Maybe for you. So crunchy on the outside. The inside just melts. That is absolutely mm. spectacular. Fish colors are best. I think the salmon one's gonna be a lot fattier and better. And you got a dipping sauce here. Wow. It's good. You're gonna love that, Jesse. You will love this. And we are gonna get like 50 more of this. Oh my gosh. Right? I can't believe this is included. This is included, oh, right? Yo, yeah. we got we gotta get way more of this. Seared perfectly on the outside. Wow. The fish is just a bite of pure tenderness. Good. It, it tastes like us standing outside in the sun. <laughs> melting. Melting. Oh, that's even this better. This is the greatest thing. Wow, we're gonna get we gotta get a couple more of these. They're this both is incredible. so good. Wow, okay, this is heavy. What is this? Eel, salmon, and tempura. Tempura. Good. I like the fact that the amount of rice is perfect for me. Wait, is this paper? Yeah, it's soy paper. It's soy oh, paper. you can eat it, right? Paper, yeah. <laughs> I just ate paper, soy which paper. I'm not complaining. I was like, huh, paper tastes nice. Texture-wise, you got that extremely melty salmon and that ridiculously crispy tempura all over. Just perfect amount of rice. Baked mussels. Heck yeah, baby. Wow. I am so happy here. And the amount of rice seriously is not that much, right? Mm. This place is way better than the other place. A million times. Like better. way better. Oh, that is colorful. It's like getting a sushi rainbow. Thank you. Seared eel. Got some salmon. What is that? White tuna? This is crazy amount of stuff.
Oh, awesome. So good. That thing melts in your mouth. It's not filling, Jesse. Yeah, it's not bad. Look how little, little the rice is. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Yield's the best. There's a lot of rice in this one, though. Cream cheese and tempura. That stuff is hefty. I mean, all this is going down for sure. We might have one less meal today to eat. All right, we're gonna have to go to battle for a while. See you in a little bit. All right, we might have to call uncle after all this because things just keep coming. We, we definitely, like, ice breaker in his stomach. We got more of the collar, which this will go down easy, but let's finish everything we have here. This might be the end of us. Okay, what's the lesson here? We should have got more nigiri mm -hmm. than the rolls. I would say just eat the heck out of the fish collar. This is amazing stuff. So far though, Having such a good time at this buffet. Like, this is fun. You're halfway yet? 30. Oh, yeah? But I need a safe space. I'm gonna feel Filipino food after this. <laughs> That's gonna be hefty. All right, all right, all right, let's concentrate. Camera off, concentrate. Ice cream included. Oh, ice cream included. Tempura fried ice cream. Bring on the fried ice cream. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Awesome, thank you. It was so light. The skin is so crunchy and light. This is a pretty good way to finish off this meal before we go get our seasick for hollow hollow. More sea ice cream. Craving satisfied. We're gonna go for a run and um, go eat our food. This is gonna be our last food place because I got something to do tonight. She's got something to do tonight. You love Halo Halo, right? I love it. This place got a flaming Halo Halo. Flame, flame shooting out of it. These are burrilla tacos. We've had burrilla yes. tacos in LA. Uh -huh. Not at a Filipino place. No. This is crazy looking. So I think inside is seasick. I'm not sure. It looks like it's seasick inside. It is seasick. Two layers of tortilla. Seasick and I think what, cheese and yeah. onions, all that stuff inside? It's like grabbing the concrete ground on the outside. Ow. <laughs> You're gonna love those. Oh, wow. That's so good. Mm, I love the two layers of the shell. Yep, super crunchy. Mm. Do you get that nice charred flavor from the onions with that slight bitterness? You got cheese inside, you got tons of meat and filling. This sauce is great. You see all the bits of uh, fatty pork and onions. I think inner is in here as well. Mm, cool. Confusing. So these fries are kind of crazy. So I think it's some kind of uh, sriracha mayo on top with an egg with crispy pig skin. This is the garlic fried pompano. This is a fish, something I had in the Philippines. That's one of the most tender things you'll put in your mouth today. And the outside is so crispy. The mm. fish is so soft and tender. Mm. Love it. So this is basically lechon fries. So runny egg on top, french fries, bits of lechon fried pork belly. You see this? Right on the bottom with some chicharron as well. Oh, here we go. Thank you, star of the show. The sizzling sea cig is here. Yo, Jesse, yeah. you gotta try these fries. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Try the skin, try the skin. I love the skin. You know skin's my favorite. Mm. And the truffle flavor here too? This is marvelous. Must try when you get here. I love the pork, honestly. Wait, I it's thought so carbs good. were your favorite. Did you just have like a new favorite every week or no, something? No, I love carbs and I love skin. Everywhere we go, you, we have to get a we, seasick. Well, you have to get a seasick. I have to get a seasick too, but sometimes <laughs> when I go to a place and they recommend other stuff besides seasick, I'm like, yeah, I'll get the other stuff. But you're like, let's always get a seasick. <laughs> Which, good excuse for me to always want to get seasick because I'll be like, yo, well, Jesse wants a seasick. Oh. 
I don't care what kind of Filipino food I'm biting into, it always comes back to a seasick. Like it's just the comfort level, the um, the familiar flavors, the vinegariness of this dish. It always makes me so happy. I'm so happy. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Sugar on top. See the sugar melting, yeah. crystallizing right now. So it's like a creme brulee almost. Yeah. And then you got Wu Bei ice cream on the bottom. And then jackfruit, some jellies, and I think that's uh, banana over there. While we're waiting for that, let's try this though. But this is their lechon. But you love this stuff too, right? I love lechon. Wow. Oh, that's good. Get some crispy skin, I get some fat, I get some meat. I get a little char, you dip it in this great sauce. Mm. Mm. Now, hello, hello, you gotta mix everything, so let's just, let's mix it. Oh, Where's we the milk? Oh, we didn't put the milk yet. Oh, I, I should have poured it first. Oh, I messed it up. I should have poured the milk onto the tower. That was what was supposed to happen, and I just, I feel like I messed the plot up to a beautiful movie. So good. So good. You will be ice cream, the pudding, the banana. Good last meal. It's good. Wraps up a fun few days of feasting around the city. Great place though. Favorite time of the day. Sitting back here, helicopters in the air, flying over the strip. But this is really beautiful and peaceful. This is what I like to do. Cup of tea, sit by myself, think a little. May not seem like it, but a lot going on here. Every day I spend in Vegas, it's just surprising how much good food is around here. Seriously, you people that live in Vegas, I'm really not jealous of this heat, but you got some really good food here. And as always, all the places I went to, listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.